In this tech snip, I'm going to show how you can set up channel rules in Poshbot. Let's get started. Channel rules allow you as a Poshbot administrator to control what channels that Poshbot is allowed to operate in and optionally, what commands are allowed in those channels. I've already set up Poshbot to run as a service and have a configuration file that it reads on startup here. You can check out the snip how to run Poshbot as a service for more information on how to do that. This file is the primary way to configure Poshbot, including channel rules. Take a look at the channel rules property of the hash table. This is the default rule set if you don't explicitly change it. What this rule is saying is that all channels matching the wildcard character star, which would be all of them, are allowed to run all commands matching any string in the included commands array, and to exclude commands that match strings in the excluded commands array. Since the included commands array contains a single wildcard entry and excluded commands is an empty array, this channel rule is saying that all commands are allowed in all channels. So let's create a few rules to demonstrate the behavior. Let's create a new rule that will only allow commands from the Poshbot built in plugin to a bot admin channel and no other plugins. You can see in the channel section, we're scoping this to the bot admin channel and in included commands, we have built-in colon star. This will match all commands that are part of the built-in plugin, regardless of version. Now let's create another rule that excludes all commands from the poshbot.giphy plugin in the general channel, but allow all other commands. And finally, let's create another rule that says all commands of the name it module, but only version 1.8.3 are allowed in the demo channel, along with commands from all other plugins. When defining matching commands in the included commands and excluded commands array, you use the command's fully qualified name, which is the plugin name followed by a colon, the command name followed by a colon, and then the version of the plugin. One thing to note is that Poshbot evaluates these rules in the order they're defined, so you should order them from most specific to least specific. When Poshbot finds a match, it will stop evaluating the rules. We need to make sure that these rules are in front of the default rule that allows all commands. If we didn't include that rule, then only commands matching the rules we've defined will be allowed, and this may not be what we want. Okay, now that the rules are defined, let's start the Poshbot service and head over to Slack. Now let's test out these channel rules. I've already gone ahead and installed the plugins used in this video but you can check out the how to install plugins in Poshbot snip for more information on that process. Our first rule stated that only commands from the built-in plugin will be allowed in the bot admins channel, so let's test that out. If I try to execute a command from the name it plugin, you can see that we get a message saying that the command is not allowed in the channel. Now let's try a command from the built-in plugin, and you can see that that works. Now let's test the rule excluding the Poshbot Giphy plugin from the general channel. You can see again that the rule worked because commands from the Giphy plugin are not allowed in the general channel, but all other commands are. And finally, we'll test the rule restricting the demo channel to only commands from version 1.8.3 of the Name It plugin and any command from any other plugin. We'll use the command's fully qualified name for this example. And you can see that version 1.8.0 of the Name It plugin is not allowed, yet version 1.8.3 is. And that's it for channel rules. You can see that they can be pretty granular if you need to be specific on what commands users can run. And that's how you can set up channel rules in Poshbot.